Hey guys, how's it going? I'm HOZ Cruncher. Sorry for the wait, but the first review is finally here. And I was wanting to wait for the right time and I was kind of struggling to find uh, the right game to review. So I thought there's no time like the present and thought why not uh, review a game I'm slightly nostalgic for and probably would make for a good review. So today we're taking a look back at Mario Kart DS. Mario Kart DS was released for, well, the DS in 2005 for almost every region receiving critical praise across the board and is a third best selling DS game of all time, selling over 23.5 million copies worldwide. The DS is one of my favourite consoles and uh, Mario Kart DS was on rotation alongside a lot of my other DS games as kind of my regular go-to games. Therefore I am slightly nostalgic for the game, but throughout this review I'll try and keep an unbiased opinion. First off the controls, for the sake of this review I used both an original DS and a 2DS, mainly because I had access to both, but I also thought it'd be interesting to kind of compare and contrast a little. The controls are smooth and work well for the most part and are impressive considering the lack of a control stick on the DS. That being said, occasional cramping in the hands could occur, especially in the palms while playing on an original DS. The 2DS wasn't much better in this respect, and the circle pad wasn't much better as a steering option surprisingly, but that could just be because mine is all but dead. But circle pad aside, the 2DS didn't exactly nullify your hand cramps, and in some instances, it was worse than the original DS. You should also know I grew up playing this on a DS Lite, and while I remember getting much less hand cramps, they were still there. Moving on to game modes, there's a few to talk about, the main one being Grand Prix mode, which is a standard Mario Kart or Kart Racing mode, with four consecutive races, and the race with the most points at the end of it all gets to first place and wins a trophy, unlocking more things as you go along, such as extra carts and characters. Mission mode is a very fun and creative, if limited mode, which is a play completing tasks such as destroying and or collecting a certain amount of items under a time limit. This mode is excellent and it's one of the main things people loved about this game and it's a great distraction from the otherwise at times tedious Mario Kart gameplay or formula if you will. After completing a certain amount of missions you'll fight a boss, underlying fight. You'll do things like tackle and attack the bosses in order to beat them which is quite creative seeing as they could have just as easily gone with the classic CTR race against a boss gimmick. With design choices like this, it's no wonder this game got so much praise. That being said, mission mode isn't something super expansive or engrossing, but it's understandable considering 1. it's a kart racer and 2. given the hardware limitations of the DS, they probably couldn't have done much more with this mode anyway. Battle mode in this game is really fun, especially with friends, but good luck finding someone who wants to play a decade old game with you. In battle mode you have two options, balloon battle and shine runners. In balloon battle you and your opponents have balloons and use items to pop each other's balloons in arena type areas. In shine runners you will go around in the same areas, but this time battling your opponents in order to get more shine sprites. After a certain amount of time the people with the least amount of shine sprites will be eliminated and this will carry on until there is only one left. Both game modes are incredibly fun and yet another great addition to an already great game. Moving on to the roster of this game, you'll start out with Mario, Luigi, Yoshi, Toad, Peach, Donkey Kong, Wario and Bowser. And through playing the Grand Prix mode you'll eventually unlock Daisy, Waluigi, Drybones and Rob, the latter two making their Mario Kart debuts in this game. It should also be mentioned you can play as a shy guy with a random colour, but he's a download play exclusive character. In terms of items and courses, a lot of classic items return alongside two new items, the blooper and the bullet bill, both of which have their uses but can be quite situational. For courses, this game is a game that introduced retro cups, meaning some great past tracks returned, as well as a whole host of new ones being introduced. Yoshi Falls, Waluigi Pinball, Wario Stadium, Desert Hills, and this game's version of Rainbow Road sticking out in my mind as great inclusions. The graphics in this game hold up mostly, while not perfect considering the limitation of the DS in the graphics department, this is most likely the best they could manage. Most of the environments as such do blend well together, but there is some muddiness in some instances and blurry looking textures also, but it's not a massive problem since you usually are zooming past the damn models anyway, so they don't really need to be perfect. This game can be weirdly disorienting and slightly confusing at times, but this can be attributed both to the graphics and how the game handles cart movement. A good example of this is when you drive completely straight for a short period, it almost looks like your cart is completely immobile and it can throw you off. I know it's nitpicky but I thought it should be mentioned. Moving on to the soundtrack, the soundtrack is good. I feel like it could have been a lot better though, even with the limitations of the DS taken into account. And while again it should be stressed, it's a good soundtrack. 
it can be very forgettable in places. Throughout this review I've neglected to mention the difficulty and that's because while it is balanced the CPU can either be equal to or just downright pathetic, especially in higher CCs when you overtake the other races, but the challenge is definitely still there. All in all if you're a fan of the Mario Kart franchise and skipped out on this one, or if you just want to go back and relive some nostalgic memories like I do from time to time, definitely give this game a look-see and don't let my nitpicks kind of get in the way and swear your opinion because, again, they are nitpicks and all in all it is a great game, so feel free to check it out. And hey, it also goes for dirt cheap nowadays, which is a bonus, I guess. Anyway guys, feel free to like and subscribe and leave comments. Um, I've been XYZ Cruncher. I hope you've enjoyed this review and stay cool, stay safe, stay crunchy. I'm out. Peace.